my first space conference was in 2008. Um, I had mixed feelings. In one hand, I felt excited because I was learning about uh, space programs and meeting new professionals, space professionals. The other hand, I felt frustrated because we don't have a space program in Kuwait. So before the end of the conference, I started to ask space experts, uh, space policy experts, space lawyers, how to, how to establish a space program in Kuwait. Immediately after my return to Kuwait, I started uh, to organize space activities. During the last 10 years, I've been involved into many space activities, locally and internationally. But here, I would like to particularly speak about space generation uh, uh, Kuwait. The main aim of Space Generation Kuwait was to form a local team of like-minded space enthusiasts. Um, and the mission was to involve those participants of SG Kuwait in writing proposals on how to establish a space program in Kuwait. Last February, for the whole month, we provided mentorship for those participants. And during one month, we came up with six different uh, 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 proposals to establish a space program. Uh, as we speak today, those who participated in SG Kuwait are still involved in space activities. They are even doing their own initiatives, which is a success because the primary goal was achieved. However, uh, the success was beyond expectations because it created what I call the space momentum in Kuwait. During the, the year 2018, I, I never witnessed space activities as I saw at this year, 2018. The effect of SG Kuwait was not only on individuals, but it was institutional. It was not only local, but it was regional. I was hearing people in Oman and the United Arab Emirates talking about SG Kuwait. What's, what's important now is to keep this momentum in Kuwait. So we came up with the Space Generation Moon Village. And this is not science fiction. This is a reality. This is going to be uh, 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 the new uh, space momentum in the country. And it's going to be a platform of discussing opportunities for developing countries, in this case Kuwait, to identify uh, commercial, engineering, and scientific opportunities to perform or to, to have uh, 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 um, an activity either in the lunar surface or in cis lunar orbit. It's not going to be only local, because this is for uh, the, 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 the main idea is for developing countries. And Kuwait is part of that. So it will start from Kuwait and it will grow internationally. Why the moon? Why, not, why, why we are not talking about Mars, Venus, uh, low Earth orbit? In the last 10 years, we had seven, seven moon missions. In the coming 10 years, we are expecting to have more than 50 moon missions. This is a dramatic boom. Two months ago, NASA has released the Space Exploration Campaign Report, and they specified five different goals. Four out of the five goals, they particularly mentioned the moon. Basically, NASA want to return astronauts to the, to the moon within the coming 10 years. And they want to stay there. They want to have a sustainable program. This means they want to utilize lunar resources, and this will open opportunities. Commercial, engineering, and scientific. Um, NASA is not the only space player. The same goes for other space agencies, big companies, private companies, startups, or even nonprofit organizations. The next question is, this is, I mean, uh, the worldwide, the worldwide movement now, as it's going to the moon, where is Kuwait? How Kuwait can be part of the global efforts to colonize the moon? This is the question. 
We've done SG Kuwait. It was, it was a great success. And now we are a team. In the last 10 years, the opportunities were not there. Today, we are, we are in a completely different era. And I highly believe that the space generation, the youth in Kuwait, can lead efforts for, uh, for Kuwait to, to have partnerships in the moon. And this is going to happen because we did great things in the, in the past. Okay, thank you.